Hello everyone and welcome to Basic Flash Tutorials. This week we're going to be doing a simple fade transition effect you see a lot on uh, website homepages uh, and of course around the internet. Um, so let's get right to it. We're just going to grab the rectangle tool because I, I need a shape for example um, and I just have my regular shape here. There's no stroke on this shape, it doesn't matter. Um, grab your selection tool, uh, left click that shape so that it's highlighted as such. Go to modify, convert to symbol, convert that symbol to a graphic, make sure that radio button is, is selected. I'm just going to name it square, hit OK, and you notice it shows up in our library here as a square and graphic. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer and we're going to select that first frame. We're going to grab uh, uh, an oval because we need another shape. I'm just going to change the color to a red and we're just going to draw that shape out. So now we have our two shapes. Um, actually, let's just convert that again to a graphic. So we're doing the same thing we did before. If it's going too fast, just pause the video. Um, we're just going to have these two uh, um, these two shapes now in our library and our two layers are created. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to pull that layer, the circle layer that we just created, we're just going to pull it to about frame 30. It doesn't really matter. It just, the longer you have it, the the, the smoother or better the transition is in, during the fade. Also, if your frames are, your frame rate, your frames per second is lower, it'll be more choppy. You can always just change that by double clicking it and going up to about a 30 frame rate is probably the best. I'm just going to leave it on 12 for now for this video though. Um, next thing we're going to do, Actually, I'm going to pull that frame to 31. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the circle layer now. We're going to right click on frame 30 and we're going to in insert keyframe. And you'll notice that the circle frame is no longer on top of that frame until frame 31 when the square layer disappears, which is what we want. Now we're going to extend our circle frame um, to about frame 30. Or 61 it doesn't really matter again we're just trying to keep it consistent uh, for fading effect um, now we're going to select uh, frame 30 of our square we're just gonna click once on it and you'll come down here where it says color and we're actually going to select alpha I hope you can see it there I don't know if it gets cut off on my screen or not we're just going to select alpha and you'll notice that my alpha is actually at zero already that's where we want it we want to set it to zero and what we're going to do then next is we're just going to right click anywhere inside that frame and in or what we're going to do is insert a create motion uh, tween so now we've tween that to fade out is what we want so you'll notice that it starts with black and fades to to white or to nothing I should say that's exactly what we want now what we're going to do is the same thing with the circle but reverse so f the first frame of the circle frame uh, layer we're just going to select it just by left clicking with my selection tool color alpha and zero uh, if it's if it's any higher just adjust it as such so now we have the zero and we're gonna do it again make sure the final frame is the full alpha so that would be the hundred percent alpha just make sure it is if not already uh, and we're just gonna right click in between there and create motion tween again and that's pretty much it so now we've created a transition and let's just take a look at it here so it fades out and fades in. So we fade out the square and fade in the circle. You can use this in transition with pictures. You can do slideshows on your website. It's really useful. It looks fantastic. Um, so that's about it for now. We're just going to leave it there today. Uh, so rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again.